So hey everybody, it is Erin and I am here at the Fashion Fusion and the CH8 in Phoenix. And what this basically is, is this is a project runway for either doing something uh, on a dress form, so you can create a garment, or you can do an accessory. And so we have some amazing companies here. And I'm gonna kind of walk us through the, all the stuff we have. Over here we have Clover. And I brought some really cool, fun things. So over here we have Pebio, and they brought a whole bunch of cool iron set paints and paint pens. We have Beetle On over here, and they brought a ton of cool tools because the accessories you could easily do a necklace or a bracelet or headband or something fun. Over here we have Deco Foils. So they brought some really fun colors for us to play with. So lots of cool things from them. Back here are all the fabrics that we get to pick from and kind of play with. And then Brother kind of goes slow here. Brother has supplied all of the sewing and also the scan and cut. So we have those materials and items to play with. And then we also have a sewing kit. Everyone over here, we get a sewing kit. And I'm going to tell you to show the accessories while it's pretty cool. So here are the sewing kits and here's McCall's. All their fun, um, if you're going to do a garment, then they have some patterns here that you can play with if you don't want to do it on your own. And then there is a ton of stuff over here. Let me get this down here. Ton of supplies for all your accessories, whatever you'd like to do. All kinds of really cool embellishments that are up here. I mean, it just, it never ends. There's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. And they're so pretty. I just love them all. Everything from basic thread. I need to pick up some needles because I don't see those here. <laughs> I need to grab them. So there's just a little bit of everything. And there's even even more boost, just hang on. So over here we have Faber-Castell and they're here with their gelatos and some of their uh, just kind of mixed media stuff and some of the stencils. Well, thanks for joining us everybody. Yeah, say hi. hi. So here's from Faber-Castell over here. And what is your name? Jamie. This is Jamie. Jamie Doherty. Hi. <laughs> this is my little booth right here and my friend, Betts, she's over here. We're working together, not on separate projects, but the same table. So we are over here at Sizzix with Eileen Hull and she is over here doing a little photo shoot. We'll get her to talk here in a minute. And here's Anita. Can you wave hi? Say hi. And so Eileen has brought her stencils here. Not stencils, sorry. She's brought her die cuts here to cut out for us to use with all the fun things with her Sizzix dies. So which dies do we have with us today? Well, we have some flower dies today. They all have holes in the center. They're 3D flowers. So what we're doing is we're using our twist and style tool to make the center. Ooh. And then putting a jewel in the middle and uh, kind of threading our flowers through. And then using those to make headbands. Cool. But we could use those flowers for other things too, oh, right? Yeah, doesn't sure. have There's to just be for the head. Or just arrangements on the table. You can cut them out of felt flower. Or Do you have one fabric. somewhat done right now? Uh, yeah. There's one right over there. Well, let's yeah. take a look Green, at that. Here is one of the flowers that she's talking about with the bead, and then you yeah. put it on the wire and twist it up, yeah. which is what Anita's doing over there yeah, right is. now. So she's twisting up, and then we're you said try it with five in the center, and then these so here's some of the ideas. This is very pretty. What's on the palette? that didn't arrive yet. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so, these will be here. Right they're they're coming, they're guys. coming. And, and you're doing all these with felts. Yes, Very cool. these are felt. And uh, I have a new collection called Heart Felt ah. because I love dyes. <laughs> and fun, fun, no fun. <laughs> so clever. Well, yeah, but you can use your dyes not just for paper, but for felt, fabric, cork, you know, chipboard, mat. And do you need to do any kind of extra insert to put that in to make it what, cut through the felt? No, no. You just nope. use your steel rule dies. Okay. Uh, if you're using your thin, the wafer thin dies, they will cut, but you need to use um, the precision base plate on your thinlets, and that helps it get a better clean okay. cut. Okay. But you do recommend using the thicker dies like you have yeah, right just there. Yeah, they're Then you can, you can even stack them. Yeah. Oh, so how many layers of felt could you cut through at one time? Well, I wouldn't do more than two. Okay. And I would roll it through twice. You have to kind of... Oh, I roll back and forth, back and forth like 18,000 yeah, yeah. times. Yeah, and I think all of us are like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you cut, so just experiment with it. But it depends on the felt because you have the craft felt, which is kind of made out of water bottles. So it's a little harder to cut. That's what this is. Okay, this is craft felt that yeah, we're working with. The, the wool felt is beautiful, and that'll go right through one cut. Boom. It's, it's really nice. That's but, cool. you know, we didn't have that. <laughs> That's so, okay. You know, craft felt... Well, that's what's most available to yeah. everybody is you to know, get craft felt. The mistakes come out to be your best product. Flowers are imperfect and that's the best yeah, part of them. Right. That's why I like making flowers. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Thanks for coming by.
So everybody, you just got to see um, all the fun things that I did at Fashion Fusion, kind of a little overview, some of the companies, some little still shots of what was happening at the time. Um, this is what I made. So just to kind of give you a rundown of all the fun things that I made while doing this. Um, the fabric came from Fabric Editions. I had these huge panels and you saw me cutting them out on the Brother the Scan and Cut. Um, I had, I picked out, this was my starting point, this was my inspiration, was this particular pattern and it was a whole bolt of it. Um, they had reams, of, not reams, they had bolts of material out there for us from Fabric Edition. So if you were making a garment, you had plenty of options and you were supposed to put one of every brand in your um, pieces that you were making. So I made um, this purse and this was the jumping off point. So all the colors I got from then on after came from doing this particular uh, fabric. So that's where I pulled this, this color because it kind of matched. I pulled the gray because there was gray in there, the white, um, and then all the other colors, the lime greens and the other colors of blue is where I went. And then obviously silver because gray and silver kind of go together. Um, the next thing that I did, and I made some little boo-boos here and there. This was the very first purse I have ever made. So I thought I did pretty good. The next thing that I did is I went through and I took just white material and I glued all of everything on. Okay, so I just went and pulled a bunch of supplies so you actually can see what I was working with. I was able to bring a few things home and because we were also able to work on this after um, we left the uh, Fashion Fusion, which we had three hours or four hours to work on it. But then we had a room within the conference that we could go to and use the sewing machine. They had extra pieces and stuff. So I used the fabric glue to begin with to glue all these pieces down. Um, on my big sheet. I then cut that sheet to size. I also realized that I wanted to put this piece on here. So this was one of the ones, this is from Candy Crafts. And I liked the idea and I pulled a couple because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, but I liked all the silver in this one. Um, but they let me keep the other one, which was pretty cool. Pretty much they said, if you're gonna use the materials, go ahead and keep them. And I was like, okay, that's fine with me. Um, I then went after I cut it, I went through and I did some detailing work to some of the pieces on the fabric before I sewed it into the purse shape. Um, I went through and I added a lot of the rickrack and a lot of the sewing stuff was given to us by Prim. Um, for some of this stuff, I also used Fabri-Tac. I kind of went back and forth between the two glues. I wasn't sure which one would be better. I then took some of the gelatos and they had some stencils. And this is actually my personal one because they just had kind of a set to play with while we were there. And I did some of the uh, stencil work with the gelatos. This isn't the dark, dark one that I was using there, but it just gives you an idea. And they had these stencils out and it would work on fabric. And then you heat set it with a little bit of an iron and you're good to go. And it doesn't rub off, which I thought was pretty cool. I didn't realize gelatos can work on fabric, which is pretty awesome. I also took, and again, I didn't have, I used a darker color. And for this one, I waited too long before I pulled it off because you have to make it tacky. So that's what this is right here. And what this is right here is I used the deco foil with their liquid adhesive. And I did some patterns in some of these shapes that I did. And I um, then put the foil on, but I did like this dark silver foil. I also went through and I outlined every single panel that I had on here in this um, opaque, this is a silver color and it's by, and I'm never going to say this, I was this wrong, Piebo. And it, we were hunting, humming and hawing and the lady who was there helping us, she goes, I think the silver is going to look really awesome. And when it was all said and done, at first I thought I was going to do it in black. And then I was trying to match one of the colors, like the dark, dark color here. And it just didn't look right, but the silver looked fantastic. So I went with that. Um, another company that was there was Eileen Hudson and she was there with Sizzix and she had a whole series of her dyes to make all these beautiful flowers. So I actually took two different dyes and um, made my own flower and then Beetleon was there, which is where I got this from, which is what I used as my main part of my purse strap. Oops. And they also had some Swarovski crystals with them and so I used those as the center. Um, I also used... 
uh, clover. And I don't think this is the right one. Actually, it might be. So this is the little clover thing and it's to make this little flower. And basically what you do is you just pop it open. You stick mirror material inside of here and then you just follow the guide and then you sew it. And then you open it up and you pull and then you do your next one. And this one says you're supposed to do, I think there's supposed to be six of them or something like that. And basically you're just following the lines and you make sure your thread goes in the lines here. And it's pretty super simple. So you start here, so you go one to two, three to four, to five to six to seven to eight. So this one's a little bit different than the one that I did. Um, and it just kind of follows along with the path. The one I did was a little bit of a different one, but they let us keep the templates so we could go home and make some more, which was pretty cool. So I got to play with that as well. And then the little um, gem here was on a table with a bunch of other materials that we got from Prim and from Candy Crafts. And they were kind of like our essentials, same with the Rick Rack. We also got um, some scissors from Fiskars and we got a basket, which you're gonna see all of the stuff I got from doing all this tomorrow. So don't, make sure you come take a look at that. Um, so once that was all done and I got the fabric done and then I went ahead and made these two things, I went ahead and I lined my entire purse with the same color. I went a little fast on some stuff and kind of over glued a few things, which it just, you know, when you're in a time crunch, there's gonna be boo-boos, that's the way it goes. So I sewed the whole edge, I made sure I sh sewed my line, I inverted it, I sewed up the sides to make an actual purse, that's what you see here. And then I kind of finished it off and make sure everything looked good. I then, instead of sewing this piece on, I glued this. And this one I did use the Fabri-Tac. So I glued this and then I glued my two flowers on here. Um, what I didn't get a chance to do was put any kind of clasping mechanism. Um, by the time I realized that I needed one, everything had already kind of been cleaned up and I didn't get a chance to get that. So that would be the only thing I would really change besides cleaning up a few things, making sure I got that correct. I would probably have gone back and redone that. Some of the um, ink got a little smudged here and there. There's some little boo-boos right here. So like, here's another one that I used, the gelatos, but in this kind of neon or uh, lime green color. You know, some of my pressing is a little bit off because I didn't get it completely centered correctly. There's still some glue marks, but I mean, overall, I love the idea of my purse. And I think that was great from doing my very first purse. I think I kind of rocked it. Um, I didn't win, but my friend that went with me and um, I actually stayed at her house, Bets, I was there. She made this beautiful necklace. It kind of reminds me a little bit of this, but she did fabric and here's a picture of that. She won and it was fantastic. Here's a picture of all the judges. We had lots of fun. The idea that I got to make something and got to play with brands that I hadn't played with. I hadn't played with the deco foil. I hadn't played with the um, the markers from Piebo. Um, the brother scan and cut was pretty darn awesome. I got to play with some stuff from Candy Cracks. I've ne I've seen these little flowers, but never played with them. I hadn't die cut on felt, so I thought that was kind of cool. I got to branch out of my norm, um, play with some products that I have played with in the past, but never in the way that I did it on this project. So that part was also pretty cool. Got me out of my comfort zone, which was fantastic. I chose to do accessories, but you really could have done just about anything. You could have done um, a headband. Um, so in the accessories, you could have done a headband. You could have done a purse. You could have done a piece of jewelry. You could have done a, a collection of stuff too. I didn't realize that until after that they were cool with you doing more than one piece. It didn't just have to be one thing. I thought it had to be one object, but I misunderstood that. Um, you could either pick accessories or you could pick a garment um, and the garment was make a piece of something, a shirt, a skirt, a dress, something like that. And then you could partner up with somebody and somebody did the accessories and somebody did a garment. So it really depended on what you wanted to do with that. And I am not a pattern dressmaker at all. I cannot do that. So I went with accessory and did a little bit of sewing, which was kind of fun. Anyway, so I had a blast. I had super fun. And thanks for stopping by and checking out my purse from Fashion Fusion, Creativation 2017. Thanks so much. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.